Good morning. Good morning, guys. So today is officially two days out. Two days out. I don't know. I'm holding a third finger. Two days out from our show. So today is registration. And I just woke up. So we are starting our day with our supplements. Um, for the past couple of days, I've been doing the daily cleanse. And then on Wednesday, today is Friday. So the past three days, we've been doing some water shredding. So I take three of these three times a day. Kind of like a little alfalfa moment. And then I take four of these in the morning. So that leaves us with a nice little handful of supplements. I have to break them up when I take them. Um, otherwise I feel like I'm choking. So let's start with like three and then we'll take the others here in a second. That first sip of water in the morning, life changing. And we'll take the four. I have to brace myself. I don't like the feeling of swallowing pills for some reason. Oh, my heart. It feels like a giant lump of something's going down. Okay, and then we'll take some D3 supplements. I'm taking double. Because it's peak week and we're like cutting super intensely. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's good. Okay, so let's catch up, you guys. So my coach yesterday cut my carbs just for yesterday, um, which made me a little bit anxious. Um, mainly because I'm feeling like am I not lean enough? I mean, I know we want to get first place, so I got a little bit anxious. But I was like, yes, ma'am. No more carbs for today. No rice. Um, so I was a little bit hungry yesterday because I just had fish and turkey um i got kind of sick this week so i got really sick over the weekend so i didn't i wasn't able to work out or really give it my all because we were doing our cuts and then we we're supposed to be doing like an hour of cardio and all that kind of stuff and i just had no energy i just found myself sleeping all day i couldn't even go into work i was just very low energy and just not feeling 100% and I, I still am really like congested and still not really feeling my best um but I think that just comes along with prep like your immune system's broken down and then you know COVID's going around and all this other stuff message me good morning good morning oh thanks um so anyway I don't feel as confident as I could feel. I feel very confident, but not as good as I could feel if I wasn't sick, but that's besides the point. Um, so I have no idea what today has in store. We're about to go get our spray tans and then I have hair and makeup later in the afternoon and then registration at five o'clock. And then I think I'm gonna meet with my coach and have her look at my posing and all that kind of stuff and do like an in-person check-in. I don't know why, but I feel a little bit here I have my bikini this is a bikini so I feel a little bit bloated I know my abs are popping out but usually I feel really flat I know I just drink my water but I feel kind of turtle belly right now and I wish I had a little bit of a flatter abdomen so I'm not I don't know I'm not really in love every day I wake up I'm pretty happy with my physique I don't know what happened yesterday um I didn't drink as many protein shakes as I normally do. We didn't have our rice. Um, I have it. She doesn't have me working out the past three days. So I don't know what's going on. I'm taking all of my shredding. Like I'm not eating high carbs. I'm not like on my menstrual, which I feel bad for girls who start their period. I'm taking my water cut. I'm drinking a gallon of water. I don't know what more I can do. Um, but I just woke up not feeling very like, if I were to walk stage right now, I don't think I'd be happy. But maybe whenever... I'm very pale right now. Maybe when I get my spray tan, I'll feel differently. Because the spray tan really makes things pop. But I just wish my abs were just a little bit leaner. And I wish my legs were a little bit leaner. But I got sick and there's nothing I can do. Like, I didn't work out. I did follow my diet. Um, because I got sick, I didn't get to eat. So I wasn't really eating what I should have eaten. I, like, was maybe halving the calories, which is already extremely low. Like, if I'm given, like, 12 or 1,300 calories, I was maybe eating 800 of that. 
So there was that. But on to some good news. How about that? On to some good news. I'm excited to walk stage. I absolutely love my bikini and I'll link my coach and my bikini down below. I love my coach. She's like on top of it. My coach is always there for me. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm getting all of these notifications. My coach, like, if I need anything, she responds. She's checking in. Like, she's like, okay, we're going to cut these carbs out. We're going to do this. So, she's very on top of my physique right now, which I appreciate. Um, and then my bikini made by Magic Bikinis. It's just to die for. It's everything I wanted in a dress. And so much, not a dress, but in a bikini, it's it's morning time. You know how that goes. Um, and so much more. So, I'm, I'm so extremely happy. I went to the grocery store and I got a lot of junk food. So we're gonna go through that right now because I am I'm not gonna eat these. We're not gonna binge eat. However, I want to bite at least of each. Um so these came out. I'm a, I'm a big chip fan. I like sweets, but girl, I like I like the spice. Like my Latin side, we want some spicy. So these came out while I was on prep, so I couldn't have them. So I want to, I don't really want these. I just want to try them. They are the Cheetos Mexican Elote. Um, so I just want to taste these and what they taste like. Like, are they going to taste like zesty Cheetos? Do they taste like normal Cheetos? I don't know. So I really want to test these out. And then we have the Cheetos Carolina Reaper. Again, these came out when I was on prep. I have not tasted them. I have no idea what they taste like. It's kind of like a nostalgic thing because I know they're going to probably not be around for a long time. Um, but they're like sweet and spicy is what it kind of says, like sweet and caramel bacon. So I just want to mainly taste these. Um, I also got some chips, hot Cheetos sh shipped in from Mexico because I love Mexican hot Cheetos, like from Mexico. I don't know what it is, the zestiness of it. So I ordered them on Amazon and had them shipped in. So they'll be here today, or tomorrow actually. They'll be here tomorrow, which is perfect. And then we got some Takis. So I do know what these taste like and I will probably eat this whole bag. I'm not gonna lie to you. This, it's a very small bag. It's a four serving size bag. So 150 calories per serving, there's four of them. So that's a lot, maybe half a bag. Maybe we'll break it up in two days or two meals, whatever it may be. But I'm really, I miss my spicy flavors. I want to eat these Takis so bad. Let me show you how much I love spicy flavors. Look how psycho, psycho. Um, I want to eat this so bad. Is it going to kill me? Yes. Am I going to regret it? Yes. But I just have had such a like thing for like chips. I like chips and salsa. Like if I'm going to have a cheat day, I want the most unhealthy thing, which is just fried chips and salsa. Like no nutrients whatsoever. Um, so these I'm really excited about. I also really like bread. So I got some sweet honey butter, which I'm really excited to try. And some cheesecake factory bread. I don't know why. I just feel like I really I haven't had bread in a very long time. I've had like oats. And I've had like white rice and that's like it on the carbs pretty much. So I want to just taste this. I also got like a lemon and blueberry pound cake. I just want to slice this for breakfast and just have a bite and then eat my bread and butter. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we are going to have like a little bit of a binge moment. My boyfriend did get into these. Um, so that's why there's some missing. It's not because of me. I did not cheat. But these are chocolate covered pretzels. I just want like one. I don't even, we don't even know yet. And oh, I got like a cute little cookie for like stage, like whenever I get off stage, just to have like a little sweet treat. So I got me a little cookie, something a little sweet. And then we have these um, cinnamon roll, country style cinnamon rolls. I'm so excited. And then, okay, there's one more. I know, I know. Hold on. Again, he got into it, not me. So part of, part of it is missing, but we got a pumpkin roll. I, okay, so it is October. It's the beginning of October, so I'm not that mad. But I haven't really had anything pumpkin. Like as soon as all the pumpkin stuff came out, I was able to have like a little bit of like creamer. But after that, like we started going Cokes, my dog. We started cutting out creamers, so I've been drinking black coffee. So I haven't had anything pumpkin, and that was the reasoning for that. 
Um, and also, if you don't know, I live in Texas, which means the state fair is going on right now, you guys. So, am I going to be able to eat all of this by myself? Absolutely not. I just want to taste things. I'm a taster. I'm like the person, I like buffets. Like, I like to order all the appetizers and just taste everything. I'm not going to eat all of it. Most of it's going to go to waste, unfortunately, or like leftovers or go to somebody else. Like, I'll bring them to work and have everybody else eat them. But I just want to, I just, I haven't tasted this stuff. Like, I want to taste it. I forgot what things taste like. So, we have the state fair and I on Monday want to go so badly. So we'll see if we do a state fair vlog. Um, hopefully we do because what better day to come off prep and be done. Well, not done because we're in a reverse diet, but then like having the state fair available for me for all the fried, horrible, awful goodness. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy that because I worked my ass off and I don't care. Um, but after this, week or this coming week you know i'm gonna have my little junky moments and then we're gonna get back on and we are going to reverse prep and be you know nice and healthy about it um i don't want to just jump into the junk food because i have done this before i started a prep two years ago didn't finish it got like up to four weeks out and because of covid i was just like let's not do this because if they close it down, I don't want to like shred for no reason and like go through all of that. And I did not reverse diet and y'all, the pounds came on so quick and so fast and so bizarre. So I really want to make sure that we are reverse dieting, dieting and being healthy. But any, that's enough of me ranting. We are going to go get our spray tan and then I'll check in with y'all when I am not pale I, I do have you know a good amount of melanin but you know for someone who's half black I feel like I could have some more spice you know to my color so we are going to get tanned up we are going to get bronzy and hopefully not too orange <laughs> and I will check in with y'all after that okay so I just got my spray tan I already feel like a different person like I'm seeing my arms cut up my abs looked great the dress was a little bit too tight so I know for tomorrow we're just gonna wear a robe um but yeah I got it all over my dress but look how golden bronze my legs look like it's so cute um the girls were super nice in there we will be doing our second coat this is not even like dark like it's supposed to sit on for 24 hours pretty much and then we'll do our second coat tomorrow and I already feel like a totally different person so really excited I have to pee but I'm scared to pee because I just got spray tanned and I've seen girls like get their tans messed up from peeing so yeah um I'm gonna try to hold it in and hopefully by the time I get home because I only live like 20 minutes from the venue hopefully I can hold it for 20 minutes and when I get home it will be more dry than what it is right now so I decided to go up to my salon and jump into getting my hair and makeup done I enjoyed my meals for my meal prep and I honestly felt so gorgeous afterwards I mean look at that transformation Okay guys, so we got our hair and we have our makeup done. Today is registration. Oh, let me go ahead and pull my hair forward. Okay, so today is registration. So I will be checking in after I get my dress and everything. I just practiced posing with my coach. They absolutely loved it. Oh my God, this guy wasn't going. I'm like, drive, drive. Um, I'm just two minutes away from my hotel. I booked a hotel across the street because it was just my preference and I don't know if that was the smartest idea like everybody's at the embassy and like I should have just gone to embassy with everybody else but I am stubborn and I'm like I want to be at the Gaylord so even though I live five I live like 10 minutes from this place I, it makes no sense I should have just booked at the embassy the embassy is so nice and it's so pretty and so well done but I just really I'm like I want to stay at the Gaylord because they have a steakhouse and I really want to be at their steakhouse tomorrow um so yeah my stubbornness might kick me in the butt but my coach said I looked great um we practiced some posing so we're gonna work on our facial expressions and tomorrow will be show day so I just wanted to show off my outfit for registration I was so in love with this green dress I feel like it really popped on me so we're staying at the Gaylord and I know I live in Texas but I have never stayed here and I can't wait to go eat steak at the steakhouse tomorrow. Yes. 
All right, so we just finished our registration. We had our check-ins. I changed out of my gown to this cute little, um, I guess little fall outfit, super cute. And I am going to go out to dinner. Um, diet has not changed, so I didn't really bring my meals with me. So I'm gonna go to the steakhouse and I'm just gonna get some plain cod. Um, and then tomorrow will be show day and I'm so excited and I've been practicing. You can see like my shoes over there. Um, I've been practicing and I feel very, very, very confident for tomorrow. So I'm super excited. Everybody was super nice. All the girls are so beautiful. And tomorrow we'll wake up early, do hair and makeup and yeah i'm so i'm so excited y'all so excited i am nervous because my girl michelle did my makeup and look how beautiful yes she killed it and i'm nervous because i can't have my glam team and i have i i feel like they will do so good but i love my makeup artist michelle um 10 out of 10 follow her on instagram i love her so i'm gonna be super nervous and excited to see what my makeup turns out like tomorrow.